right now, Detective. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. Very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes. He just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual. Oh, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. What about the cold, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot of business. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say! I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? Sure as hell doesn't seem to type. Stranger things have happened. Shots fired off the 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 Sh
a member of the American Century Broadcasting System. Ladies, how often does this happen in your kitchen? Gosh, Mom, pancakes. That smells awful good. Yes, fresh pancakes made with Mullen Bar flour. Mullen Bar makes it so easy. Just add milk and those tender, delicious pancakes are ready after a few minutes on the grill. liars in my town. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. <laughs> Type is clever. Hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he is not. Roger KGPL. Kind of reel this guy in, folks. 